so you have some shaky footage. Calm down, Da Vinci's on the rescue. Filming yourself and walking ain't easy. And even with the cameras nowadays, with built-in stabilization, we still get some shaky shots. And nobody wants to look at this. It makes the viewer get dizzy. Thankfully, DaVinci has a built-in tool for it. Now we have opened DaVinci Resolve and we have loaded up video file. That's quite shaky. I'm just gonna mute this audio track so it's not distracting for you. It's quite shaky. If I zoom in here on this part, can see it's really shaky so first thing we're gonna do is select the clip and open up the inspector then we're gonna navigate to the stabilization option and by default it's enabled and we're gonna have to enable it by pressing so let's explain a little bit what all these things mean 9 out of 10 we're gonna use perspective I still haven't being able to find an applicable situation for those two perspective mode works perfectly fine for pretty much everything i've needed stabilization for then we have two check boxes here the first one is camera lock so the camera lock option basically allows us to remove all motion from the video it's it's it makes the footage like it's on a tripod and the zoom checkbox it's as you can see it's pre-checked it's really important to check the zoom option because what digital stabilization in davinci basically is cropping the video it's rescaling the video so if we don't enable the zoom we will have some black borders and we don't want black borders so the zoom needs to be checked in to zoom in the video in order to compensate for the shakiness in the original video if we don't check that box we will have black borders around our footage the cropping ratio it's basically how much we're giving permission to crop on the video the higher the number here the less it's gonna st stabilize so we need to move it around here or here depending on the footage but if we leave it at one it won't stabilize very well so basically if we leave it at one it won't crop in at all it won't stabilize very well and then we have the smooth option the higher the smoother basically makes moves opposite to the original clip but be careful with this one because the higher the number the bigger the chance to warp the footage and most of the times warping the footage is not a desired effect going down here to the strength basically strength stays the same you don't move it from one but what is essentially how much of the original motion you want to use versus the artificial one versus the smooth one if it stays at one you're using the full stabilization track and the lower you go the more original movement it uses so basically if you go at zero this is the original footage if you go lower than zero it intensifies the original movement so it usually just stays at one like that so basically stabilization is knowing what your options are doing and pretty much trial and error it's really good to know that every time you make an adjustment for example like this and then i stay press on the stabilize button da vinci is really fast with stabilizing now you can see that it's really stable like smooth but if you i want if i want to go even smoother I will not see any difference unless I press on the stabilize button. The bench will do its calculation really fast. And now we can see a little bit of difference. Very good. And really quick here, just to show you what the camera lock does essentially, making your footage looking like it's filmed on a tripod. We let's check it. Let's stabilize and now you can see that it doesn't do any motion like on a tripod 
it cropped in a lot there's but there's a little bit of a warping effect over here which we don't want but that's essentially what it does there are there are cases where we would use this of course so yes guys that's how the stabilization option works in davinci resolve and it's absolutely free just like my version of davinci what else is free is subscribing and supporting this channel ain't that a deal so press the button thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe do all that stuff and yeah that seal over there was from my trip to denmark really fun trip yeah nice man that's for another time thank you guys again Bye, see ya.